and we are here with Quinn that is challenging today my articulation abilities, not only with her name, but with the talk named Virtually Unforeseeable Pandemic Devriel. Good luck, Quinn, and don't forget to share your slides. I will not forget to share my slides, and thank you so much for the intro. You did great. All right. You also get to see my Christmas tree, apparently, while it's doing this. So as he said, uh, my name is Quintessence, and Shabbat Shalom, Hak Smech. I think I messed that up, but we're going to keep going with it. And I'm a developer advocate at PageDuty. And in the before times, we had a lot of experiences with both digital content and in-person content. So there was a mixture of events that looked like this, right? Offices, meetups, et cetera, conferences. And we also had blogs and webinars. And at this point, for the most part, the digital content was digital native. So that is to say it was made to be digital and consumed that way. And on the other hand, in this new abnormal, everything looks like this for me right now, for content creators, for content consumers. The in-person content has been quickly converted to digital as best as possible, which has reduced the variety of learning experiences. And in turn, this has altered the way we interact with digital content as our only way to communicate. And how so well, if you're in a meeting or a meetup or a conference, again, like this one, you're usually present, even if you have distractions coming through, but now people are multitasking. So they're streaming content while working or doing podcasts and things like that. And so people also, because of this, prefer to spend shorter periods of time with that digital content. So the conferences are shorter and the blogs and such are shorter. And even with those restrictions, it's really important to find a way to meet community needs digitally native for an easier experience overall, rather than necessarily always trying to convert that content. So that makes our primary goal to find ways to maximize the use of digital native content and tooling to meet those needs using the common tool sets to limit barriers to entry. And in order to get started, we went a little meta because at PagerDuty, we are obsessed with process. So we did an analysis of our processes, a gap analysis. And in order to do this, we established a new baseline after shutdown to see what information was changing, what was temporary during the initial shift, and what was going to remain kind of indefinitely. And that led to what's a gap for community, because there are a lot of interdependencies between in-person and digital in the before times you might promote a webinar at a conference or a meetup on a community forum. And so you also need to account for those supporting pipelines, getting content ideas from the so-called hallway track, et cetera. So all these in-person pieces are the gaps as defined in this gaps analysis. And when we were doing the gaps analysis, we used our knowledge of how DevRel is valuable to pager duty as a business to triage. Essentially, we were looking at converted content that struggled and what needs were met around those, as well as looking for gaps around how we were meeting needs overall within the digital landscape and lining all of that up with pager duty DevRel. And we found that we could meet a previously unmet need via web conferencing, basically, again, using existing digital tools. And one of the ways that DevRel helps business at PageDuty is we do some internal advocacy work with customers, not product, marketing, or sales. So what was that need? We actually ended up finding that customers also struggled with their process and notification flows. And so we basically reinvented notifications as a service. And you may now be wondering if I built this whole deck as a setup for that joke. And the answer is maybe. But the answer is also that we found a way to help developers. We do this by looking at one section of their infra and teaching them what they need to do in order to reconfigure, reword, and reroute notifications, and then they can apply that to the rest. And to be a little more specific, we ask the team or teams to walk us through what happened if or what happens when for the different notification flows. And this helps us to identify things that need to be more succinctly worded, or if notifications are firing when they shouldn't, if they're failing to when they should, if they're notifying the correct people, and if they're learning on the correct criteria and so on. And why did this happen now? A couple of reasons. One is that while these meetings could be done in person, we're all currently borderless. And by that, I mean, we can do these process flows with different teams at different companies in different regions while sitting in the same chair. And the other reason was our mindset. We were looking at our gaps analysis from a new state of mind. And mindset matters. So not only is it important to take a look at your workflows regularly, it's also important to do it from a new perspective. And this can be really challenging if the overall environment is roughly the same. That said, you can make your process of processes more resilient by experimenting, even just thought experiments where you map out the knowns. Try to eliminate pieces and see how work reroutes around them or needs to be redefined 
try to figure out what work is core and needs to be done even if experience is altered and which can be temporarily or permanently removed. Ask what work fills the gaps you created while staying aligned with what is needed for DevRel in your org and see what you can test and prod, so to speak. And with that, thank you very much. My name is Quintessence, and again, I'm a developer advocate at PagerDuty. I'll be in the Discord answering any questions. Thank you very much, Queen. It was super nice. Hag Hanukkah Sameach for you <laughs> in the <laughs> Discord. <laughs> what? So I didn't catch it. You're good. It was Hag Hanukkah Sameach. Where you uh, Hanukkah Sameach. Thank Sameach. You. Yeah, now we can in the evening we will light the candles and eat some donuts. Thank you very much for being Absolutely. with us. Absolutely. Thank you.